Oh, you sexless incels. You, you're a threat to the country. Did you know that? Did you? In the Air Force Times, there's a story, and a, <laughs> this, this, is, this is serious, this is legit. Air Force cautions troops to be aware of um, sexless, involuntary celibates. You incels, you. A safety brief analyzing security concerns at one military installation offered up an eccentric example of a potential hazard. When instructors warned airmen, isn't that sexist, author? Isn't that sexist? Of the growing threat of incels or involuntary celibates, the online-based community of introverted, sexless individuals that may have started decades ago as an innocuous attempt at achieving a sense of belonging has in recent years become a label for a more aggressive sect of repugnant men who cast the entirety of the blame for their coitus-free existence onto women. Well, if women do not consent, I'm just saying they kind of hold the, the key. <laughs> oh boy. This scorn is manifested in the form of heinous misogyny, shared over online message boards. And in a handful of cases, we, we might even say one, two, or three cases, escalated into deadly violence. In the wake of learning, Army veteran and Dallas courthouse shooter Brian Isaac Clyde was an active participant in the incel subculture. At least one base, Maryland's Joint Base Andrews, is now taking measures to educate service members on the warning signs, including the use of a popular meme, Clyde, shared on his social media, of potential violence. In the time leading up to the shooting, Clyde shared a version of the incel meme known as Virgin vs. Chad in which the characteristics of an incel man are stacked up against his antithesis. In Clyde's case, the meme contrasted the ways in which the Virgin and Chad would carry out a mass shooting, according to the Dallas Morning News. So Clyde was found with a rifle, more than 150 rounds of ammunition on his body. He was shot and killed by security officers shortly after he opened fire at the Earl Cabell Federal Building. There were no other injuries. The Becky vs. Stacy iteration that was used during the briefing at uh, Andrews, one that was shared Tuesday to Facebook, depicts two types of women flanked by a series of debasing comments. Incels used to characterize those who, who refused to enter romantic relationships with them. Increased discussion in, quote, extremist connections and attacks from incels is cited in the brief along with other incel characteristic <laughs> character traits, such as maintaining the belief that they are owed attention from Becky's. Hmm, really? Incels believe they're owed attention from Becky's, who in this uh, drawing is a feminist. <laughs> what? I, I'm pretty sure we don't need any more attention from feminists. Quote, the content of this briefing was based upon law enforcement as well as public sources and was used to inform both military commanders and law enforcement personnel about a very real threat to military members and civilians, according to Master Sergeant Jake Richmond, spokesman for Joint Base Andrews. The briefing aims to provide those audiences with the necessary tools to identify and prevent threats. So I guess now any guy who can't get a date is a mass killer in waiting. And so you're supposed to point him out. Uh, hey, uh, Sergeant, Sergeant Pop, uh, I, I see John over here. Hadn't had a date in like three months. I think he's one of those incels. Maybe we ought to, you know, do something. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Yep, got it. Is that what's going to happen? Gee, I wonder who's going to report most of the incels. Would it be... Would it be the women in the Air Force? I bet. One such threat came to a violent end, and of course they bring up Elliot Roger again, who, by the way, killed his three roommates first, then went on a shooting spree and killed just about as many men as women. But okay, yeah, it's a misogynist incel. Of course, he did blame women specifically, right, in his manifesto. I don't know why you girls are so repulsed by me. Roger killed six, injured 14 before he offed himself. At least he saved this taxpayer money, right? Taxpayer relief shot. You could look at it that way. April 2018, Alex Manassian allegedly hopped his rental van onto a sidewalk in downtown Toronto, ramming pedestrians in an attack that left 10 people dead and 16 people wounded. And this guy, I guess, was, was an incel, a murdering incel on a rampage, perhaps. Some incels on online forums, such as the popular 4chan, you know, where they had piss for feminism and show your bleeding in <laughs> free bleeding. <laughs> 4chan, that place went as far as to celebrate the alleged killer in the wake of the attack, using Manassian's image as avatars and calling for follow-up hostilities using, quote, mass rape, poison, and mass acid attacks. Well, that's 
That's pretty bad stuff. I don't know how that crap got posted on 4chan. I don't go there. But obviously calling for violence is just not, not a good thing. And again, we're talking so far three examples. Whether the Joint Base Andrews example is part of a DOD-wide initiative remains unclear. Quote, the safety and security of our installation personnel and families are paramount, of course. I mean, if you could detect people that are going to go on a raging rampage and, and murder people, yeah, of course. But I'm not sure equating someone who doesn't have a lot of luck with women to mass murder, what, how does that make sense? You, you, three examples here. Horrible examples. A lot of people were murdered. No question about that. I don't believe anyone wants that. Did we look into the background of these men a little further? Did they have any other issues such as, I don't know, mental health problems, drugs, ADHD medicine, anything like that? Oh, no, no, no. It's because they, they couldn't get a date. I'll put the link below. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.